Okay guys, uh, I had some questions about um, price updating on your uh, fitness sites. Now your prices, the prices for products on your site, they will be updated. The way the updating works is, is basically it runs off the WP or the WordPress cron. Okay, and that's an internal um, scheduling system um, that tells uh, you know software on your site when to grab information basically that's the basics of what it does now I'm going to use uh, this particular product as just an example this is a product on the demo site so I'm going to use it as an example so you can see here that it was uh, updated January 29th of uh, this year okay and here we have the prices alright so if we take a look at that product on Amazon you can see that the price is $24.99 which is correct okay now you'll notice that we have a discount here now when when Amazon tells us when we update the price Amazon says okay here um, there is a uh, offer for this product for a certain price okay and we and it shows us $21.99 what happens is these offers can come and go so fast people can be offering these products at a discount um, but there also can be um, being offered as you know used products okay um, so you can see here that right now there's one that's used from 2249 okay now granted our site says 21 is the lowest price which is probably what it was okay um, but the um, price the average price or the real price is 2499 which is correct so your the prices will update on your site now, the, the only problem that sometimes we see is is when we rely on the WordPress cron, which is what what most you know, happens, that's what we mostly do, we, work, we rely on the WordPress cron. Sometimes it can fail, and it can fail for t many different reasons. Um, you may add uh, a plugin to your site that causes it to fail. Okay, so there's many things that can do that. Now, you can add a cron job, which is what normally is referred to as a real cron job you can't do that here with this site um, I can show you how to do that um, there's a couple of steps it's, it's a little bit advanced so if you want to do that I'm going to show you how the first thing you will have to do is if you want to switch over from the WordPress cron to a real cron, jo cron job which is ran by your server is you'll need to log into your cPanel and we're gonna have to work in um, our file manager okay so what we need to do is go down to your file manager and we're going to have to go in go to our site now here if you want to choose your site that you're working on you want to do it here um, or if it's an add-on domain you choose your add-on domain okay so I'm going to click go okay so here we are in our site with our site files now the first thing we have to do if we're going to switch over to a server cron we have to disable the WordPress cron first in order to do that we're gonna have to take a look and edit our WP config file okay the file that we're gonna work with is wpconfig.php so we're gonna click this one time and just to highlight it and then we're gonna right click whoops go back and we're gonna right click and click uh, we can just click well let's just click edit here we can do both we can do a code edit or edit but we can get away with just doing the edit and then click edit okay so now we're gonna look at the very top left hand part of the screen where um, it starts with PHP okay so basically you're just gonna put your cursor right behind the PH the P and the PHP okay and then just press enter to create a new line okay so we want a new line to work with now we need to paste in just a snippet of code so that we can disable the WordPress cron okay so the snippet of code that we're gonna paste in is this now I'll give you this code so you don't have to sit here and re uh, memorize it but this is a defined command that we're gonna have to put in so that it tells our WordPress cron to disact or deactivate or to be uh, disabled okay now it's very important that when you're pasting this snippet in that you uh, paste it in correctly that you don't you know mess any put any spaces or anything like that Okay, so we're just going to copy this correctly. And we're going to go back up here and put our cursor right under the PHP 
and we're going to paste that in. Okay, make sure that you're not leaving any spaces after or before. Okay, once you do that, go up to the very top right hand side of the screen and click save. Once you save it, you can now close this. Okay, so we're done working in uh, your file manager, so you can close this out. Okay, so now we're ready to go and um, create a server cron job. Okay, so we're going to go, we're back on our home cPanel, and we're going to scroll down until we find cron jobs. It'll be under advanced. We're going to click on cron jobs. Now, inside of your site, you're going to go to plugin status and assets download. Now, under assets download, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to come down and grab under number four you're gonna grab this line okay so grab the entire line and you're gonna copy that to your clipboard okay you're gonna go back over to your cPanel and you're gonna scroll down here now the recommended is or the recommended time or the common setting is to run um, probably every 15 minutes or so I would probably choose to make maybe run it one per day. You don't want to um, have this cron job running all the time. It just depends on um, you know what the site is, and for this site, um, you, you would be okay probably with running it either once per day or maybe twice per day. Okay. Okay. So once you do that, it'll fill in all the settings. Now we're just going to paste that cron job in that we copy. Okay. Now once we do that, we're going to click Add New Cron Job you'll see it pop down here okay so right now as of right now we've disabled the WordPress cron now it's going to um, it's going to what we call grab assets your site's going to grab product assets based on this internal uh, server cron um, and it's going to grab these assets once per day okay that's how you set that up is this required absolutely not you can probably get away with running your WordPress cron if you find out, if you see that your products are, are, you know, not being updated for, you know, months and months at a time, then um, your WordPress cron probably is failing and this would probably be a good idea to do. Okay. All right, guys, I hope this helps.